Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Sudoku U. Um, welcome back to Sudoku U. Um, Sudoku U is a series of puzzles which are created by students of Full Deck and Missing a Few Cards who've participated in their Puzzles and Paradoxes class, students or the teachers themselves. And today I'm coming to you with a puzzle called The Bell Tower by Damselfly. Um, so uh, I've been sent a new batch of five puzzles by Full Deck and Missing a Few cards that have been submitted by the students of their class and um, I'm going to be doing another set of five. So um, this is the first one. I'm working through them and we'll see what we end up with. So um, if you're interested in finding out more about what they're doing and everything, feel free to reach out to Full Deck and Missing a Few Cards. They're not hard to get in touch with via most of the Discord locations. So um, yeah, let's have a look at this puzzle. So normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. Uh, digits placed on purple Renban lines must be a set of consecutive non-repeating digits in any order. And basically what that means is when the digits are placed on the line, if you were to take the digits that end up on the line off and sort them, they will be a run of digits. On green German whisper lines, adjacent digits must have a difference of at least five. So we know this is a one. So this digit here is going to have to be at least five different from one. And that, will con that trend will continue along the adjacent digits on the line. Digits in cages sum to the number in the top left corner of the cage and cell separated by a black dot or have a one to two ratio, not all dots are necessarily given. That's what we know. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. And oh boy, is there a lot going on in this puzzle. So I could talk about the constraint of German whisper lines. There's killer stuff I could do. Wow, there is a lot going on in this puzzle. So German whisper lines, let's start at the top. We know there is at least a five difference. You can never put a five on a German whisper line because of that five difference. You end up at zero or lower or 10 or higher. And once you've got a low digit on the line, the next digit, because you must do a five difference, you will jump over the five and end up in a high digit, six, seven, eight, nine. But if this, um, first of all, I know this digit can't be a six because the only digit that is um, five away from six is one. And this digit here would also have to be a one. So this is not a six, but this now has to be a low digit and is a two or a four. But it can't be a four because the only digit that is five away from four is nine. And both of those would have to be nine. So that's the two. This is also seven, eight or nine because it can't be six. Can it be seven? It can't even be seven, because if this is seven, the only digits that are five away from seven are one and two. These would have to be one and two. That doesn't work. This is an eight or a nine. This is a low digit, which is a four, because it has to be a low digit, and the one, two, and three are already gone. That makes this the nine, the only digit that is five away, and this is seven or eight. So that is cool. Now, this is a nine cage, which has a one in it and no two. So it's one if um, I don't can't use a four, if I don't put a three in it, I've got one, five, six, which sums to 12. So I must put a three in it. One and three is four. So it's one, three, five. That's just forced. And these digits here are six, seven, and eight. That's really cool. Now, there's a lot more going on here, such as I know that's a five, because how do you make up 24? This is just going to be a nice, quick solve. How do you make up 24? I Maybe this is about to smack me in the head with a fish, isn't it? 24 in three digits. The maximum three, the highest, biggest three digits I can use are seven, eight, nine. You add seven, eight, nine together, you get 24. However, the digits that are placed on this line must be a consecutive run. And if this was a three and this was seven, eight, nine, this would have to be both, this would have to be four, five, and six simultaneously. That doesn't work. This is the five, this is the three. Now, five, seven, eight, nine, I need a six to connect them. Now, uh, there must be a four and a five on this line because with either two or seven. Now, um, because it's either two, three, four, five, six um, to make this row, row, um, run of digits work because I have to connect the three and the six. So I need a four and a five and then I need a digit on either side of that because I've got three, four, five, six automatically. So the fifth digit must either be the one before it or the one 
higher than it. But this is a six, so these digits have to sum to nine. So they're either two, seven, or four, five. But they can't be two, seven, because I must have four and five on the line, and that would make that have to be four and five. So the nine that comes from here is the four and the five. So this is four, five, six, and this is either the two or the seven. But this seven cage is one, two, four. Now the minimum digits you could put into a cage are one, two, and three. Um, which sum to six. Now, I've put the wrong digits in because I want to demonstrate a point. I need to increase one of these digits by one. If I increase the one by one, I'd have two twos in the cage, in the row and the box. If I increase the two by one, I'd have one, three, three, and that doesn't work, I'm repeating. So the only digit I can increase by one is the three, and I end up with one, two, four. That means the two is here, and this becomes a seven. But this is one, two, four. I need to put, well, this is now a one, two, three, four, five line. So this is a three, five pair. There's a four, five looking down, so that becomes the three, that becomes the five. This can't be a one because of the one in the column. If this is a two, this has to be a four because I can't you go down to a one. And if it's a four, it's a two or an eight. So this, oh, and I can't use a two or a four off the dot because the one, two, four here, this is the eight, this is the four, and there's no four there. This is just smooth. This is an eight, nine pair for the row, but the nine makes that the eight and that the nine. I could have used the eight alternatively. Um, now, there is an 8 on this line, which means there must be a 7 on this line. This 8 looks up making that the 7, taking the 7 out of those. The 7 looks down, taking the 7 off there. Why does there have to be a 7 on this line? Well, it's a three cell long Renban line. If I don't go down to a seven on a line with an eight on it, I have to go up only and I'd go eight, nine, 10. So if I go down from nine, I go eight, nine, seven, eight, seven, six. And after that, I don't have an eight on the line. So there must be a seven on the line. It can't be there. It must be there. And this is either six or nine, but it can't be a nine. So this is a six. I cannot put a nine on this line because if I do, it has to be nine, eight, seven, and the eight, seven is not available. So 9 is in one of these two. Um, this can't be... Ooh, this is actually quite restricted. Six, 6 is just right here by Sudoku. But this line is quite restricted. I think it has to be 1, 2, 3 or 2, 3, 4. Because it can't be 3, 4, 5, it would break that, and it can't be 4, 5, 6, or 5, 6, 7. So it can't be 3, 4, 5. So this has to be 1, 2, 3, or 2, 3, 4. There is a 2 or a 3 on this line, and it's from 1, 2, 3, 4. Because 5, 4, 3 breaks that. So this is from 1, 2, 3, 4. There's no 1 or 4 there. There's no 4 there. There's no 2 or 3 there. But there must be a two or a three on this line. So this is a two, three pair. And this is the one or the four. That's cool. So this must, ah, oh, that's very clever. There must be another two, three in this column. Basically this column now, I've got one, I don't have two, three, four, I don't have five, six, seven, eight, nine. So these are two, three, five, but I've got a two, three in this box. So that's the five, and this is the two, three, but there's a two in here. So this is the three, this is the two, this is the three. This is still one or four, and these are one, four, nine. There's no four there. Oh, this eight made this six and this eight ages ago. It's very easy to miss black digits. Okay. Ooh, <laughs> I'm starting to get hand trembles, which is a sign that I'm about to have a seizure. This is not an eight or a seven. This is the nine, and the nines come out of here. Uh, the nine, yeah, I've already got that. So nine is in one of those two, but that nine looks up saying that's not the nine, so that's the nine. Nine is in one of those two. Eight in this box can't be in the 15 cage, and it's not in one of those, and it can't be there because of that eight. This is the eight. Seven can't be in either of those two, so seven is in one of those. Where's eight in this row? Eight can't be in those, eight can't be in those. Oh, this eight basically looks back, making that seven and that eight, and that would have done it much easily, more easily. Where is seven in this row? 
can't put seven there, can't put seven there, can't put seven there, so that's the seven in the row, or I could have used that seven to look back. This is a triple, one, two, three, because I've got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These are one, two, three. The three looks down, taking three out of there, making that the three. Very smooth. This is one, four, or five for the row. I've basically used all the constraints now. I am just down to Sudoku. I'm down to Sudoku. Um, never get me to write your jokes. These are one, two, four, five. So this is two, four, or five. So what's this column missing? Two, four, five, and seven. So this is two, four, five. Two, four, seven. No. Okay. Where am I missing? This cell sees one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, and nine. That's just a naked single. That is a six. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, and nine. That cell is a six. So this is a triple now. One, two, three, four, five, seven, and eight. That sees a seven and an eight. So that becomes the five, and I can take five out of those. This column, maybe? One, two, four, and six. No, nine is in one of those two. This has got one, two, three, four. These are five, six, seven, and nine. No. What's this? Oh, that's not a five. That's a one, two, four, nine quadruple. So that has to be the three in the row, which puts three in one of those two by Sudoku, but the three means that that's your three. There's now a triple in this column. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These are one, two, and four, but there's no one up there. So this is your one. This is a two, four pair. These are two, four, seven. Very, very weird. This is two, four, seven, because all I'm missing in the column now is one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. So this sees one, three, five, six, eight, and nine. So this is two, four, and seven, and that gives me a two, four, seven triple. So this is the five, and this is not the five. Give me a one, four pair, making this the five and this the four. This is now a one or a two for the row. The two four makes that the seven, which takes seven out of there, which makes that the eight and that the seven. This is now a pair. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, five, and nine. The five here makes that the nine and that the five. This is just smooth. Just smooth. Very cool. What is the next thing I've missed? Lunch by the feel of it. Sorry, I am quite unwell. But I'm still trying to bring puzzles to the community. So this is a triple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So these are four, five, and six. There's a five, six looking there. So that's the four, and I can take four out of those. Five looks over, making that the six and that the five. The four looks back, making that the two and that the four. This is now a pair. Well, the nine takes the nine out of there. This becomes a nine. This is a one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, eight, triple. There's no one in those, so that's the one. The eight looks up, making that the two and that the eight. Now I've got pairs in these columns. This is a one, two pair, because three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But this one looks over, making that the two and that the one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Four and six go in there, which is not obviously resolved. So what is next? The two takes two out of there. Five in this row. Can't put five there. 
5 is not in any of those cells. 5 there would be a problem. So 5 is in one of those two, but that 5 looks down, so that's your 5. This is 4, 6, or 7, and it's not 6. So this is now a 4, 7 pair, making this a 6 and this a 4, taking 4 out of both of those. So that's a 2, that's a 7, that's a 4, that's a 7. The 2 looks up making that the 4, which makes this the 1 and this the 2, which jumps over making this the 1 and this the 2. The 1 looks in making that the 4, taking 4 out of there, and that becomes a 1, 9 pair. This 2 looks down making that the 1 and that the 2. The 1 looks up making that the 9 and that the 1. These are now 6 and 9. I'll use that 9 to make that the 6 and that the 9. And that's the correct solution to the puzzle. So the bell tower by Damselfly took me just over 13 and a half minutes. Really, really cool. And that was with explaining. And I don't know that I did a great job of explaining that one but just lots of cool deductions. The opening with the killer cages and the German whisper and everything was really cool. I love the graphic with the bell having been drawn with the, the bell hook and the, and the, uh, the clapper. Very, very nice. And the Sudoku at the end was smooth. Very, very nicely designed puzzle. Thank you, Danzelfly, for your, I believe this is your first puzzle on the channel. Really do appreciate it. Um, and I really look forward to seeing more of your puzzles. Um, yeah, very, very cool. Um, I hope you enjoy the rest of the Sudoku U series. Um, I hope you enjoyed this puzzle. And as always, good luck with your solving.